are many misconceptions about how to increase plant production. At Carbon One, we go back to the basics to understand the mechanisms that enhance this process. All plants have these three things in common, leaves, stems, and roots. The plant takes carbon dioxide from the air and water from the roots, then combines them with sunlight, making an energized carbon molecule we call sugar. What is the purpose of this process? To convert photo energy into a transportable chemical energy. This molecule now moves downward from the leaves to the roots, carrying energy. This is the carbon flow of the plant, which fuels all plant processes. Once at the roots, this carbon energy is consumed by bacteria that live in the soil. The bacteria break the carbon molecule down into carbon dioxide, water, and hydrogen ions. This process also creates heat and biological byproducts known as acids and exudates. Acids and exudates are absorbed by the roots and travel upward into the plant. They are the primary building blocks in upper plant growth, and their presence in the soil increases root growth. A large root system sets the foundation for a healthy, productive plant increasing water and nutrient uptake, and overall plant size. Back at the roots, the hydrogen ions that were produced release nutrients locked up in the soil. The newly available nutrients can then be absorbed into the plant through the feeder roots. These nutrients join with the acids and exudates, flowing upwards to build the upper part of the plant, producing leaves, stem, and bloom. This is the nutrient flow, moving upward in the plant from the roots to the leaves. While carbon flow and nutrient flow are intricately connected, carbon flow is the major determining factor for the plant. The increase of any plant attribute can be caused by the increase of carbon flow. More carbon energy sent to the roots results in more acids and exudates produced in the root zone which leads to better root and bacterial growth and higher nutrient availability. This causes more nutrients, acids, and exudates sent upward in the nutrient flow and ultimately increases plant potential. As farmers, we add available nutrients like nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium to the soil to ensure that if the soil cannot provide them, there will be nutrients available for the plant. This may provide the plant with N, P, and K, but unfortunately, it bypasses the fuel of carbon flow. Carbon-1 is a revolutionary product that feeds the carbon flow of the plant, which is normally determined solely by the weather. Carbon-1 is a highly energized carbon-based molecule, much like the plant's own sugars. When applied to the plant, carbon-1 is sent to the roots, fueling plant processes. At the roots, the immense energy stored in carbon-1 exponentially increases bacterial respiration, multiplying the effects of carbon flow and subsequently increasing nutrient flow. Carbon-1 is the production tool used in the Carbon-1 program, helping growers to overcome the negative effects of bad or unpredictable weather and soil imbalance, ultimately increasing crop potential. The Carbon-1 program is a complete plant health system utilizing the right fertilizers at the right timings to boost the production and quality of crops.